Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 62, Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 3rd of August, 2020, and here are the players and Colin. Fuck waiting for you to get it on your own. Colin's going to deliver to you. Hi, I'm playing Lyco Quint. He is your resident evil operative and all-round space person. Dead, alive... And or loving it. X gonna give it to you. Hi. I'm Nico. I'm playing Zora. The Vex the Vesk Captain. The Vexed Captain yeah. is valid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valid. I think what he was trying to say is the Vex the Vesk Cat done you. forgot what work is. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Welcome back. I am playing Beard, the android messiah. Now you're doing the Shatner delivery. <laughs> Welcome back. Alex. <laughs> ah. I was indeed muted. Hello. I am Callum. And I will be playing Zig, the burning sun, the mystical space rat. Uh, I want to say from the sun, but I just said sun like recently, even though it's the different sun. Sun, so sun. Like yeah, but I feel like Zig would say sun a lot. But you, but look, look, Shakespeare made a pun on sun and sun. You're you're not better than Shakespeare. Go for it. Wow. I disagree. <laughs> like there's just so many levels to you're not better than Shakespeare. Um, you're not better than Shakespeare. Like there are so many <laughs> levels to that. Yeah. Boom. Is it just Lyco with shades on? Finger gunning you? And it just says, you're not better than Shakespeare. <laughs> there you go. Print it. You're not. Yeah, no, we, we can get this done. Mm -hmm. Just just wait for my Etsy store to materialize without any effort on my part. And then Etsy gonna deliver to you. There you go, buddy. It's all oh, coming no. up, Colin. It's all coming back to me. Uh, meanwhile, though, in this game. Welcome back, everybody. No. And uh Controversial. And alright, over to Zig. Hello! I'm not there, I won't be over Hi. to Zig. No, I'm over to Zig. Hey. Ah yes. So there's there's a place. There is a place. Where everybody knows your name. <gasps> but it's not here. This is a different place. And this is where he, this, this is, is a house in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you're standing there. Speaking to Edzo14, no. while well, this broken and cracked world is a uh, frozen around you. Yeah. There's a Madonna song playing somewhere. Nobody quite knows what it is. It's the it's the generic Madonna song that is just all the Madonna songs, but slightly like. You, you I believe in auto tune enough, enough like, that you could auto tune all of her songs. Into the one mega wow. song. Wow, are you accusing Madonna of using auto tune? <laughs> you know, no, time I'm goes by so slowly. Madonna. <laughs> yes, that one. Oh, oh dear. Barry Allen. Uh, no. <laughs> Which she did say. Oh dear. Also, the, bar the ballad of Barry Allen is a really good song by Carmen Infantino's nephew. Okay. So there you but go. in Zig's scene. Oh, yes. What the fuck's a zig? Do you have to zig? I think he's he's just kind of um Do you know what? I think he he looks at um Well, the the image of Etzo. Mm -hmm. And um I think he says Could you not be her, please? This form was the more predominant of your thoughts. Is there another form you wish us to take? What form pleases you? And then I think he like maybe maybe he was like kind of like rubbing his eyes, um, 
and then like like with one hand you know and then um maybe he looks up when he says that I think Edzo just stands there, staring kind of off into space a bit. I do not understand. How are you most comfortable? I am not sure. Perhaps you should um, experiment with that at some point. Mm. What if I were most comfortable in this form? But you wouldn't be. Right, Edzo smiles. And um, it says, If I were to experiment and find that I was, would this not create more upset for you? At least you would know. But then our time together would be at an end. Or is that what you wish? At this point, I don't know. Like, the inflections just sound like Edzo14 is talking to you, by the way. Yeah. Um, I think it's really kind of messing with him a bit. Mm -hmm. um, kind of screwing with his head. Um, I think he kind of looks down. Um, and he, he just says... Well... What now? Is this how this world ends? Is this, um, does anyone get out? I think it looks like, is he still, um, sorry, um, but, uh, can you, can I still, like, see, like, people frozen there, or is it, am I, like, watching, like, the image of the planet as, I'm, as we're watching it just now? I know, like, it's... Everything, like, you're on the planet, like, everything's frozen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're still, you're still there, I just thought it'd be a better backdrop. Yeah, um, I think he'd like um, be like looking around at the people, and and maybe if the, the children, the Nida and um, Lanterel. Lanterel. Yeah, because it looks like one of them is like shielding the other. Yeah. Out of interest, uh, do I know which one's shielding which? Uh, why don't you give me some kind of perception based roll? Um, Look at that, a dice roll. Uh, perception. Never. Wow, that's bad. Hard to say. Yeah. You just mostly got them complaining about each other and she shouted their names towards the group, so... Yeah. It's hard to say. Cool. Yeah. I mean, what, did, what does Zig think, out of interest, for the audience? I think in his head, it would probably be Thanida shielding... Um, Lanteral. Lanteral. I right. want to say Lanterel. Right, okay. It keeps coming out like that, and I keep trying to like take that moment from my brain to go no. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Lanteral. Um, if I say it really quickly, no one will notice. Um, but yeah, I think the night would be should Lanteral. Okay. Well, you can think that if you want with your eighteen perception. No. Well, Zig thinks that. Mm -hmm. um, I think I don't know what I think. I mean, we know that Colin's looking something up, at least, with his <laughs> flicking oh, of pages. I it was muted. No. I hope whatever you're reading is interesting. It's, uh, in fact, Pathfinder Pactorms. Fragments of Eternal. <laughs> I was looking up, uh, feet. <laughs> so, yeah, Zig. Um, so, yeah, no, yeah, that's, he, he kind of just stops there and says, that, is that, um, is that how this place to end? Does anyone get out? This. And Ed's so kind of like, as you're kind of like staring maybe at the, at the two kids, like Ed's so kind of like crouches down, kind of just next to you to kind of like stare at them as well as if under, trying to understand what you're like observing. And she says, I don't know yet. I am before. This is a little out of my experience. What would you like to be the case? Desires have little use to us. Mm. 
but everyone has them. I think he like looks at it so and like his mm -hmm. brain is obviously like that. Well, obviously that's what the thing wants. Mm -hmm. And he says, "Yes, everyone has desires." So that at least teaches me something. I am not everyone. That's a good sign. Look around and say, Neither are we. And then would like, kind of like, maybe walk towards them, the the kids, Zenaida and um, Lanteral. Mm hmm. Yeah. Maybe go past like, some maybe kind just of be thing. like looking at the scene and then like you know walking around them and like kind of like looking yeah and like you have to navigate around obviously some kind of haphazard broken wheeled cabbage cart vendor man who's obviously fallen backwards but frozen in time trying to grasp at mid air cabbages you know I knew it was coming <laughs> so yes thank you um, but yeah no he's, he's just kind of like wandering and then he, I guess he looks back at Edson and says. Do you know why I'm here? It would seem that you desire to be here. Is this true? Mm. Also, like when you look back, I am like Edzo isn't like where you were talking to them. They're next to you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Zig would like, you know, like maybe like just turn as she spoke. Excuse me. Um, and like look look up at Enzo again. Um, and just say, I'm unsure. Uncertainty I'm, seems commonplace. I think I'm rarely where I desire to be. Uh, but I'm usually where I'm supposed to be. I think. Perhaps you should align your desires with your presence. Okay. So let's say I want to be here, and I want to be here at this time, and I think he would look around and maybe maybe more like, maybe even just like asking himself but saying it out mm -hmm. loud, yeah. and just say, why do I want to be here? It does not seem like anyone else that I can see wishes to be here at this moment in time. I mean... Kind of see why. Edzo just smiles. The current state of this world is a byproduct of my creation. So you're the cause. Maybe he like kind of looks down at like another one of the big cracks in the earth as well. He says that. And uh, Edzo kind of looks at you and kind of like blankly just kind of stares for a second and says if this is how you understand things then yes, I would be the cause though it was not my desire. He kind of nods like once at you. Mm. I've been the cause of my share of um, the destruction. I think maybe he looks around and goes, <laughs> perhaps not on this scale, but I understand. I think he smiles as well at Edzo. Uh, not uh, the, not the yeah, and Edzo kind of smiles. The, the Zig's approval. Yeah. But, uh, but Edzo smiles back, like, you know, Edzo would have. I am... Um, 
you know, when trying to tell you off to do your studies, but then realizes that you're going to do what Zig does anyway, which is crawl through vents and learn things you're not supposed to learn. So yeah. there's that kind of like almost nostalgic kind of twang to the, the smile. And it says, We should get you back to where you should be and know where you want to be. Right? Hmm. Can I see what happens? What happens with what? I can just motions to... <laughs> just everything, yeah. <laughs> well, <then. laughs> I think you... You know what happens. This does not seem to have shocked you. More so answer mysteries within your mind. I mean, I know what happens, but I feel like I should see it while I'm here. We have stopped it from happening. We will repair this. This is our task. Going to fix it. Kind of turns and kind of smiles. Kind of like rubs like your head a little bit, like roughs it a bit. We, we we broke it, oh. though it was not our desire. It might not have been your desire, but it's, well, for me, what happened, so... That sounds like it happened. Have not you rectified mistakes of your past? I sometimes question eh, whether or not the effects that, uh, I'm sorry, I sometimes question the effects that that has on what will happen next. If you fix this, what happens to Absalom? What happens to uh, my entire experiences with my crew. What happens then? Does it go on as if it never happened? Or does it all happen at the same time? What? I think maybe he kind of like has a little bit of a, like a tear welling up as well. He's like... Yeah. It's a lot to kind of process, right? Uh -huh. um, and like, it's just You've like opened too many tabs of, like, on your browser. That's yes. what's happened. Yeah. Two seconds to take a sip. So yeah, the um Ed's O fourteen. Kinda like looks at you and smiles again and kinda like touches your cheek and just does that thing where like they kind of almost like just hold on to your cheek for a little bit softly. Almost to stop you thinking, like to distract you, right? Mm -hmm. And then it says We have taken time to correct this. We will return this planet when it is repaired. I understand. I think it's probably the right thing to do. But what if you're wrong? Then I am supposed to be wrong. And perhaps I'm supposed to correct you. And then, like, I think Edzo, like, puts her hands in, like, her back pockets of her robes. And kind of just, like, stands there. I am kind of very at ease, right? Mm -hmm. And kind of like looks off at like one of the like you know I don't know perhaps the sun right yeah as it's above one of the buildings 
and then just kind of like lets out like a, a kind of whistled exhale. I was like, well, I'm listening. And she just smiles back at you. I doubt I can uh, physically stop you from doing anything. But it might just be worth thinking about. What's the... So you wish all these people to die? I don't wish for anyone to die. But people do die. And... These people were not supposed to die at this moment. Well, if everything's pre-designed, then if they weren't supposed to die, then why did they? Our emergence caused this. And your emergence wasn't supposed to happen? Because if it was supposed to happen, then these people were supposed to die. Few. Going by your logic. Few have say in their births. Just because you create something doesn't mean you decide when it goes away. And is this the same of destruction that you create? Do you not wish to rectify such? effect. If I could rectify all my dis mistakes and just fix them with no consequence, then I would not be who I am. This will not be without consequence. The desired result to use your phrasing, would be that the people who would have died at our emergence get to live. And what does that say for the rest of the, the system? I don't know anything about the rest of the system. That is new to me. It may be new to you, but I assume it's old to another and now for another. Um, but I don't see what gives you the right or the, the justification to dictate how the rest of the, the solar system or the universe or whatever um, plays out. Ed yeah, just smiles at you and kind of sits down and kind of like goes cro like cross-legged and the motions for you to sit like a cross from them as if you were going to meditate with them? I think, I don't think Zig would sit. I think he would definitely stand over and just kind of stand. He's probably, you know, about like head height standing anyway. Yeah, maybe just a tiny wee bit, like him. taller, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so kind of just nods at your kind of like decision to stand and uh, says, if you throw a stone, will it eventually fall to the ground? That depends where you throw it. It's all smiles. Let's keep things simple, shall we? <laughs> no emotions towards you. Um, can I throw a stone? Uh, you, I mean, you probably could pick up a stone, yeah. Whether or not you can throw it's a different story. Yeah, can I like, pick up a stone and try and chuck it? Mm -hmm, yeah. 
Like maybe into one of like the big cracks in the earth. Yeah, like as soon as you let it go, it doesn't move. Yeah. Because time's frozen. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, if time allows it, I suppose it would. Some things simply are. You make claim that I take some right self afforded to myself and selves to make this decision. I have the ability to correct this mistake. Why wouldn't I? Just because you can do something great and magnificent or just in the eyes of you yourselves doesn't mean you should do it. You're a healer, are you not? I think Zig's kind of processing the amount of times that he's like, <laughs> helped someone versus the amount of times that he's like done the complete opposite of that. Um, Can you see the Edzo holding the mic up ever so slightly higher and higher? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, it's not going to fall. We know that because time's fell. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, but the rules don't apply. Um, I think Zig maybe um, turns around and just says um, I'm not saying that I always choose right and I regret a lot but I think you're eager to skip to the end, aren't you? You cannot just enjoy the moment for what it is. And then Edzo kind of laughingly just gestures around at the frozen time. Hmm. I just think you should, seeing as you have an abundance of it, take the time and just think about whether or not this really is the best course. Time is one thing I do not have. However, you would seek to replace desires you wish me to have with your own. I will ask you again. You are a healer, are you not? I want to be. I add so just smiles kind of genuinely again. You just he's definitely looking down uh, yeah. at, the, at the ground when he says that, for sure. And then. Um, so you seek to undo damage done, but not damage done by your intentions. What gives you the right? to undo that damage. I think he maybe turns around and says, Nothing. There is no right. I do it because that's what either is expected or what um, I think should be done. So it's either by your desires or the desires forced upon you by another. Expectation, for example. We're all subject to it. Are we? And she smiles. Well, from my experience, yes. And from mine, I've only experienced your attempted subjugation of my desire. I'm merely just giving you another point of view. 
It is good to have. Jesus smiles. And that, and I hope you take it into consideration. There is nothing to consider, merely to repair. This Fire. world will be restored. It is beyond my desires. I see. And... You fear losing Lord. what has already been lost to time. Yes. Your past. Your deeds done. Histories. It is a concern, yes. Um, once, once this is fixed, what then for you? What's... Just smiles and kind of looks down as well. And then looks back up and kind of holds your eye contact for like a couple of seconds, uncomfortably, and then says, By your understanding, I am already gone. I mean, my uh, opinion and perception of time is somewhat um, altered in the past. Are you sure about that? X amount of time. I suppose. What's to stop this from just repeating itself over and over and over again? Repetition is not always a bad thing. Is that where we put the sponsor up so the network gives us a season two budget? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just slap that in there. Um, just do the same thing again. Um. But yeah, so like, it stares at you and kind of tilts its head and just kind of smiles as if you've kind of justified why it should be fixing the place. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um. Based on Zig's raison d'etre, quite frankly. Um, yes. Yeah, which is. I did bad things in the past and I want to fix them and I have the ability to fix them so I should fix them that's almost like a responsibility I have because people expect people to be good and yet you're telling this like thing to not fix the planet because it might undo all of those things you hate that have happened <laughs> so it's also going to undo all the things that have <laughs> that yeah that's important. the assumption that everything's going to be undone um just fair. But I think at that, um, I think he says, he turns around and says, You said I was an anon oh, balls. <laughs> anomaly? He said, uh, Yes, thank you. An anomaly. Um, Did I? I must have said this before. I don't necessarily think that's true. And, um... Hmm. Uh, I think he just says... Where... Am I supposed to be? Where do you want to be? That depends. Enzo just smiles. When can I be? A 
I guess it kind of narrows her eyes a little bit. Tilts her head slightly. And says... When do you want to be? And then whatever date slash thingy and location that graduation day is. So you want to go to the sun on graduation day again? Yes, that's what he says. Okay. This seems like a smart choice. I foresee no problems. <laughs> right, can we checkpoint here, guys, that this is all Zig's fault? Right, 100% oh, all on Zig. Wait, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, this creepy god person has just justified everything that I'm doing to me. <laughs> no, he's justified everything they were doing to them. <laughs> yes, and in turn, justifying everything. This poor god has no, no idea what he's got himself in for. Mm. It's, it's let Zig loose. Zig Unchained, this is the <laughs> Ayn Rand of Zigs. Oh god. <laughs> I am a Barbie girl. We are Zig. <laughs> this, this is like um, the start of Bioshock where you have like the no mm. gods, no kids, only Zig. <laughs> <laughs> only Zoo. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so. No, I just asked. It's not, I'm not. I mean, yeah. I mean, that is where Zig wants to be, but or when Zig wants to, be. but whether or not this. So how are you conveying that to Edzo, like that desire to be, in graduation day again? No. Because uh, d- like, what if you did manage to save Edzo, but then you lost the egg and the radiant? It's like, fine. How many times because are you going to go back to try and fix it? Gotta get a perfect run. I've come to bargain. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, because right, like it'll be fine because we'll just base that on the possibility. <laughs> I Zig will put the world in peril. At stake. <laughs> At stake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not, Not even, even the, the world, world ghost, ghost wizard. <laughs> wizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a million miles away, is it? Which is terrifying. <laughs> um. Here's no, what I was thinking was weird was going to be the problematic child. Every time we like go back in time and take it, it just duplicates the things. So yeah, because that's what you want more it eggs. Just means there'll be more eggs. Do you want more eggs? I thought you wanted less eggs. You're trying to get rid of the the one you have. That's fine. Oh, well, no, we're trying to keep I, it I safe. To... But if we have more, if we have more. <laughs> we've got like, a spare. <laughs> we've got a spare if we lose this one. So everyone can eat an egg. Everyone right. gets an egg. Think how happy you get CC an egg. would be. If you let him have an egg. Oof. Also, if I manage to take the egg with me back to where the other egg is, that would prove or disprove whether or not there are more than... that. Like, the the eggs duplicate and what what have you. Mm. So... But... Yeah. um, It's when when we have three zigs in the graduation scene now. As like you know, a Zora and a Nix Five running around graduation day. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll just wait a bit. Um, <laughs> I'll be there before. Like wear a cloak. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'm cloaked. It. <laughs> it's just that um, uh, disguise Thor has from Ragnarok. <laughs> or no, but anyway. Um, so yeah, no, that's that's uh, how am I conveying this? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. The question. Um. Uh, My disguise for one is a terrible idea, and two is uh, a. Slight You're gonna roll for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know like how many levels because this is just like this is like this is gonna get like inception mm-hmm. I was waiting like, for the when does Zig mind link with the thing. Yeah, so mind link's gonna mind Zig's going to mind link with the thing. Okay. Which might end horribly. Or really well. Mm. Like every other time. 
I think he'll he'll ask permission first. He says, "Can I show you?" And Ed so kind of looks at you. Do you have feel like your hand stretched out, or what? Like, are you saying, "Can I show yeah. you?" Yeah. In like a. Um, Come with me if you want to live, kind of way. Yes. There's no time to explain. Come with me. <laughs> there's no time to explain. Oh God. <laughs> Throwback. That eh? one is a history. Yep. <laughs> Stabbed in stomach. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. That uh, took me back. Hmm. Uh, we'll explain when you're older, Cal. Um, now that you're older, um, <laughs> but yes. So, Edzo looks at your kind of like you know posturing and uh, says, "And what is it you wish to show me?" when and where I want to be. And then I it's okay I'll smile and says This I already know. And then kind of gestures to Edzo. It is why this forum is at the forefront of your mind. And I think at that I think it goes Okay. Then why did you ask me? If you already know. You seemed to know you weren't to be here, yet you took the time to talk. Mm. I don't know if I'm meant to be here or not. I know that you are not meant to be here. You are not accounted for. I may not be accounted for. But I'm still here. Yes. Yes, you are. I need to believe I was supposed to. If this is what you want to believe, then it simply is what you believe. I don't know if it's what I want to believe, but it's what I do. That's okay, just nods. Sig nods. Yeah, it just stares at you. I think he... Um, maybe just starts to walk away, like, into, like... No, like, when you turn around, like, you're in your meditation room, in the temple. I was not expecting that to be honest. Zig, is there something wrong? And I think Zig blinks. Um, and looks up and says, when are we? Edzo kind of like shakes her head and says This is our meditation time, Zig. I know you don't like sitting, doing nothing. But trust me, one day, sitting, doing nothing will probably save your life. Please, have a seat. And gesture to the cushion sat opposite Edzo. You remember this day as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think he goes. Oh. Don't think this is a good idea. Hey, so he just kind of looks up at you and says, It's best not to think when meditating. Zig, have a seat. And we cut from you. <laughs> All the way to the next five's new incarnation, weird. I don't know where I am just now. It's very difficult. 
So um, you and Query find yourself yeah. staring back at Broken Galarian from like, you know, an all familiar moon. Mm -hmm. And a uh, weird energy ripply crack in the universe entity thing kind of just you feel it acknowledge that you are present, so to speak. <laughs> you have returned and duplicated. It doesn't even look the same as me now. The number of arms. These details are important to you. Therefore, they will be important to me. Thank you. Oh, uh, um... Yes. And, like, the form just kind of, like, shimmers. And it takes the, uh, the form of a grinning Dorwa, of all people. And there's just the big hearty chuckle. And then uh, it looks at its own arms and says, I can see the appeal. They make it easier to hold things. Yes. And just a big hearty chuckle. You have returned and you have brought another unaccounted for element into this place. Yes, although this one is unaccounted for on a universal scale rather than just in this place. So... There's just a big hearty chuckle again, like a very deep, bassy, Barry White level chuckle. Um, as if that's an acknowledgement to your statement. He just kind of like, you know, has two of his hands clasped behind his back and the other two on his hips. And then, uh, the, the work progresses. You have met first. Yes. He was elsewhere. There's just a smile and then a big chuckle, um, and like a nodding of the head, and uh, you, you can tell they're smiling because their mouth's covered but their cheeks go up, you know? Their eyes do most of the work. And um, That is the lockdown experience. Right. And uh, I mean, the Cassassins were just ahead of the game, to be fair. And um, oh, how we could all learn from them. Yeah. But yeah, so it kind of just chuckles away. It says, You are here. I am here. You have been elsewhere. You should be going back to where you came from. And you, and gestures to Query, Query like, What the fuck is happening? <laughs> and, uh, and you are to accompany this one. And it looks at you and kind of like nods and just chuckles to itself. Can you send us back, please? No. But I will send you there. Thank you. And just kind of chuckles away. And then kind of just like turns back and just like regards the planet again. And then just kind of waves over its shoulder. Um, and then like yeah, like there's almost this um, nothingness to it, right? Like there's no, no shift, no anything. You're still just there, on this kind of relatively barren moon, staring up at a broken planet. And uh, like after a couple of seconds, as you can like turn around to kind of be like, do we just leave? Like what? Uh, you hear grinning Dorvisy. If you want to avoid what happened to him. The eggs could be gifted 
to us. But this will change things. How will it change things? I am unable to process. I am here. What would you do with the eggs? What would you have us do with them if not to withhold them? You just keep them safe. Safe is relative. It motions to the planet. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to release them into the world or hatch them or eat them. I think, like, Grinning Dory just, like, chuckles to himself, kind of deeply again, and he says, I have no need to do any of those things. I merely am amused by your presence. And he just chuckles at using the word presence. It's like trying to talk to a grandparent that doesn't really understand half of what you're talking about, so just laughs. Uh, uh. And Queer just turns and goes, What is it talking about? Also, where the fuck are we? What happened to your Galerion? My what? Your home planet. My home planet isn't called Galerion. What's it called? Apollon. Okay. And what is the third planet in your system called? Is it, uh, one, two, and he just starts to count, like, hmm, hmm, Akaton? He shakes his head, versus, uh, and shrugs. Did you have an Absalom station? Yes. What was it based around? He, he thinks about it. But, like, counts out with his fingers. I guess that'd be third, yeah. Is it, it's a space station, yes. It's just in between Castrovel and Akaton. Why? Ours is where there used to be a planet. Oh, so you think mines is where, or was where a planet used to be? Maybe. Right. Hmm. Is this the sort of thing that you would just have missed in class, or...? Hey, there's a lot of new things coming to the table. Motions vaguely yeah. at, you know, grinning Durba. I remember when you used to pretend to be so sage and wise. Yeah, and look where that got us. Gesturing wildly back at grinning Durba. This is an improvement. He just laughs. He's like, and I'm hoping this is too, and he motions to just, like, your new form. <laughs> there was a planet, it got destroyed, they're fixing it. Right. What, what do you know about the eggs? We had three. Yes. And... The thing... And he waves his hands vaguely. The Alibrian. Yeah, that. He used them... to wake up... Octurn. Okay. Now, before you ask... I don't know how... I just know... that... I was supposed to die to stop that. 
and I kind of felt like what was the point? Hindsight being what it is. He kind of shrugs. I need to go talk to my crew. He kind of looks at you and kind of smirks and says, Our crew. Right? And then the, him saying right isn't so much a, you know, right? It's more of a kind of pleading look on his face. Because he's not sure if this is where he's going to be left. We can put it to a vote. Oh, good. I I, I, I do so well in those. He kind of like rubs his say, hand through his like silver hair. He's like, so um, if you gave this guy the eggs, you're a what you call it? Probably can't get them, right? Oh, are we sure he can't get him? Hmm. No. But what choice do we have? Because we know. I'm assuming yours is super powerful and kind of, you know, just to kind of walk in, pick up what it wants, and leave kind of guy that ours was. So, you know, how do you propose to stop? It taking the eggs. At least here there's like an extra door. Second. And then like Grand Dora just like turns back to face you and just chuckling away. Wipes a tear from his eye. Do you Oh This space we're in now, is this in the present? My present. Everything is. And he just chuckles away. Okay, can you send things to different times? Why? If we send the egg to the far future, then it won't exist in this time. It buys us time to stop him. And it doesn't risk creating any duplicates. Stop. Have no in the past. Stop who? The Alibrian. It, like it sits and kind of like thinks and it shimmers and takes the form that you remember the Librian looking like and uh, it's kind of standing there looking like that possibly slightly intimidating the music probably changes a bit to be like the Librian theme tune and then uh, uh, it says and it says all this in the Oxian is this form not from your past the long distant past. Yes. And is it not one of the last of its kind? Yes. Then what's to say it could not reach the egg no matter how far in the future you place it from you now? He has yet to show evidence of time travel. He might live that long, but we would seek to stop him before that. Mm. It kind of just like nods, very kind of like understandingly, and then it kind of like shimmers back to like grinning Durwa, and kind of just chuckles and says, "It can be done." And. I would like to do that, please. I think Query just like gently elbows you a bit. Then maybe does it harder because you're in armor. Yes. What if it can go forward? I mean, we can, right? Well, besides the, the slow way. If it can go forward in time then it seems reasonable it can go backwards in time. But if it can go forward, 
and we put the eggs forward, we can't get to them without, you know, waiting. Yes, but if it can go forward in time, it's by the same logic should be able to go back in time and then we've lost anyway. But the fact that we haven't lost yet means he can't travel in time. Or it doesn't need to. I kind of like start rubbing his like stubble furiously, trying to like work this out. Because you've maybe pieced together, he's not a scientist. Yeah. He's not exactly like you, sadly. Um, he starts like scratching at his uh, stubble. It's like, hmm. We could. Mm. No, we, we we can't do that either. We could have tested it, but I don't think we're getting back here. What do you mean? Send one forward. Send one back. Hide one. Shrugs somewhere. Sending one back doesn't help us because it creates a duplicate in the present, potentially. That just doubles the chances of him finding it. But if he doesn't have it now... Mm. That means... He won't... Have it... Now. No, but he might find the duplicate tomorrow. Whereas true. True. And he kind of like starts like tapping on like your arm with his like finger as if it makes a good point. Yes, sending it backwards can create a duplication. Sending it forwards creates a discontinuity. If we can throw one of them into your dimension, it's already ended. That's another mm. mining space. I mean, I'm no expert, it. but I don't know if there's anywhere there to put things now. And he kind of just waves like his hands like making shapes as if he's trying to understand it. Or disco dance, we're not sure. Yes, it becomes nothing until we call it back. Huh. I don't know enough about this kind of thing to really help. I am sorry. Don't worry, I tend to find that knowing stops you from doing the stupid things. <laughs> and we're gonna do, we need to do some stupid things. It kind of has like a half, oh dear god, that hurts, and also a shit eating grin, right? In his <laughs> face at that. Because, you know, you've literally just said, here is your entire qualification as a character. Back to him. <laughs> 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 so that amused him a little bit, but also is painful because, yeah, every day he ever and would ever have known is gone. So, yeah. Yeah. He goes, so, um, how many do you have? One. Oh. We have tabs on another. Okay. And possibly on the third. But he needs all three, yes? He did for us. Then just sending one to the future will do for now. Okay. What about the, uh, the heart of the star? He kind of just narrows his eyes as he says that slowly to you. What do you mean? Well, that... That's a really powerful artifact that messes with hyperspace travel and our guy needed that. Are you talking about the Star Stone? Am I talking about the Star Stone? He just slowly oh, starts well. nodding. He's got that too. Two. What else does he have? Does he have one of the eggs? Yes. Uh, time out wise, does he? <laughs> I, sorry, does he not have the... I mean, he took the solar egg from Lanteral. True. But yeah. that's the egg you have. 
Yes. <laughs> so. Right, Manny, fix the, the void, the void egg. egg. That's what I'm yeah, doing. Okay. Come on. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in which case. You also helped deliver the void egg to the vault. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> so I guess that's a solid maybe he has one, maybe he doesn't. He might have one. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, on you go. And he just gestures vaguely to the four-armed grinning Durwa. Thank you very much, second. Uh, if I return to the crew, can you take this, take the egg and hide it at the, the end of time? He kind of just chuckles and uh, says, Time has no end. But, if I am understanding your desires, then I can at least keep the egg moving forward. Yes, thoughts within the present. Ha! <laughs> he chuckles again. Thank you. You have amused me, Anomaly. Nick turns and looks at a query. You not so much. And then a looks back at you. You wish to return. Please. Kind of like nods. And does like some kind of Kasathan cultural thing that obviously he has learned by mimicking. Like, Grinning Durwa. And you probably know just from having researched Kasathans a bit. Yes. It's just some kind of like, you know, Almost like a kind of formal bow that says, This exchange was pleasant and beneficial to all parties. Please leave now. Live long and do stuff. Yeah, like, live long and don't let time fuck up everything. Um, yes. Yeah. And then with that, you just cease to be there. We then click back to the final hour. Do we have our crewmates of the final hour? Yes. Do we do we have a Colin? We have a muted Colin, so Okay, it's okay. So the alarms are going off. It's the impact collision alarms as you drop from drift space. Okay. A similar oh. alarm. Um is blaring in the bridge of the Azure Flare. Oh dear. Uh. Mm. Hmm. Are we crashing into our own ship? Uh, at the bricks, I need two people, ideally from different ships, and Alex, it'll be you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? What do you mean? To roll piloting checks for me, please. Oh my god. Do it, Colin. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, Alex isn't two people. Well, hey. So, um. I win! <laughs> I win at piloting! <laughs> you! both dodged the same way? No. <laughs> yeah. You got the same die. I'm gonna do both 11. another one. Well, bam. Cool. So. Yeah. Use a. You just definitely hear scraping along the hulls. Um, very unpleasant scraping, and just managed to get the ships to stop being so close to each other. Well, the hell was that? What the hell just happened? Uh, exactly what I was going to say, Captain. I think Alice just turns to Zig. Uh, it's not so Zig, sorry. Alice turns to a uh, CC. Sorry, fucking hell. And uh, says, "What the hell just happened?" And then just looks around at every day. Can I? Right, I want to get visuals up. How did I do that? Do I need computers? Uh, what do you mean? Want to like? Do or is that a simple mm. enough thing that like we could just do it? What do you want to just look out the window? Like, is that what you're talking oh, about? No, oh, I don't actually even know if it had a window. I can't remember. What it looks like it looks like the thingy shit. The other one, right? 
Uh, the Azure Nora Flare. Primitive. Or the, the Norikama is the ship user on, yes. Right, yeah, so it has plenty of windows. But I know, we, we were at this, I don't know what angle we hit from, so can I, so can I see the Azure Flare at the window? Sure, yeah, because like, imagine you're on that part with all the antennas at the top, that's probably the bridge, cool. right? Captain? Captain? Pointing out. <sighs> what the hell are they doing here? What's happened this time? Are we near yeah. our location? The coordinates? It. If we were hoping to make a stealthy entrance, I hope we're nowhere near it because oh god, um, oh gods, sorry. <laughs> um, quickly, calm, weird. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I think when you start doing that, I think Alice just switches the ship comms on when she sees you talking to oh. like your communicator. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, weird in the uh, <laughs> unexpected bridge of the uh, Azure Flare. I think after you dive to the the pilot seat, past obviously Isabel and Zenaida. Uh, yeah, you, you. There's an incoming comm request from the other ship. Hello, final hour. This is the Azure Flare. Ah, uh, weird. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> we had an issue with our drift drive reaching its destination. So you that. Make it to the sun, but instead, with the world. Se Triaxis. You got secret we coordinates in between the orbits of Yox and Triaxis. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have gone completely in the wrong direction. Yes, sorry, I think that was Triune misinterpreting what? my request to be reunited with our crew. So, yeah, he, um, he, he's God. just, yeah, he's literally just said, so one of the gods. Put me here because they, un Wait, they misunderstood. <laughs> is that the drift cover? Is that what yes. you were saying? Uh, are you that bastard? <laughs> the yeah, yeah, the the one. There's probably a Vesk word that refers to Triune as the withholder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, I'll just. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say whatever that would be. It would be just like, ah, the withholder. <laughs> yes. Um, we. Instead of going to the sun, we entered pseudo drift where they're rebuilding Galerion, and uh, I made a deal to send the egg into the future, and then they sent us here. They're where, rebuilding. Where's the egg? The... How are they rebuilding? Wasn't the Starstone like its core or something? It was an artifact, I believe, but. Uh... Oh, I just assumed it was like the same thing on planet as it was in the station. That's not usually how planets work. Uh, huh. So, it's also the added tension that you've just dropped in an um, uh, how, of space. How close <laughs> are we to the coordinates? Um, I'll hit a few buttons and see I think if I see anything. Alice is like bringing up that on her panel and slides it over to where you sit. Thank is you, Alice. <laughs> Finger guns you across the the bridge. We uh, are You're exactly in the coordinates. Oh. Frick. Uh yeah, we're 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 dead on. It should be it should be in visual range. Sort of stands up and squints out the window. Yeah, it just stands up, hands on hips, looks out window. Also I love the idea that like weird you're hearing all this and probably have no idea what they're talking about. Um Where are we? Uh, somewhere between Versys and uh, Triaxis. Do you mean Eox and Triaxis? Yeah, e uh, Eox and Triaxis. Sorry. Yeah, we, uh, we should be between the orbit of the two. Uh, we're we oh. have some coordinates for a ship. Let me just move these a bit. Uh it was uh It it might be better that we don't discuss all of our comms, but it was a a friendly ship which may uh have gone into some trouble. Um. Alice then just kind of cuts in and says, um, no, it, it should be fine. I'm tight beaming this between the ships alone. This isn't a open broadcast. I figured you would want it quieter. Thank, Thank you, Alice. Uh, 
<laughs> she just salutes both of you. <laughs> it's an undercover steward. It's an undercover stewardship that was tailing the Visk movements. Uh, this must it. sound like too weird that so much time has passed, by the way. <laughs> so literally, they went to get Ivan. Long, long <laughs> story short, we have to investigate this ship for for uh, Commander ba back. He uh. Well, he's helping us, and we're helping him. What's he helping us with? He's retrieving Ivan. Who's okay. Ivan? So weird you hear a query's voice from behind you. Who's Ivan? He's an assembly Okay, what's that? I think at this point, like, Isabel and Snyder are both like, Eh, who's this? <laughs> uh, that's... Who, are you, who are you talking to? Sorry, uh, Queries here. He's me from an alternate dimension where they failed to stop the Alibrian and it all got destroyed. He's been brought through to our dimension. He just and waves. I said he could tag along with us for a while. He just waves oh. every day. And does um, this have something to do with why you're here also? Well, as I said, I asked to be sent back to the crew while I was chatting to one third of Triune while looking at Galerion. And instead of just sending me back to the well, this ship. They sent this ship back to you. Uh, okay. You gotta you admit, to, you gotta admit no, like, it's efficient because if this is your crew, and Query obviously just kind of shrugs. Are you sure that's you? What do you mean? He comes across... Foppish. <laughs> um, it just looks like confused, like, wait, what? Am I being insulted here? Different. <laughs> Yes, he's not an engineer. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. He's only got two arms. I mean, funny fair, story. Never mind. Um, <laughs> that can change. I understand. So, okay, we we've we've got a we got a contact and possibly board a ship. So, do you want us to help? Um, captain. I mean, can, but that ship might be in a little bit of danger. Where is it? I say looking out the window. <laughs> yeah. I don't seem to see it, but it's not a huge ship and space, I'm told, is large. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> it to be a scan, but people would see us. Do you want me to activate a scan? Perhaps, and then if it shows up, you could get out of here and we could slip by. We're just a lost pleasure yacht. That's a good plan, actually. Yep. Is it? Says Query nervously. <laughs> it's a plan. It's. That doesn't make it a good one. It helps our stealth problem. Query, we just were talking about sending eggs to different dimensions in time, so. Uh... To different dimensions in time? Uh, well, one to a different dimension, one to a different time, and then we're figuring out the third. I but thought, what dimension is this dimension? What? Do you know the dead dimension? Yeah. What? That's a, this seems like a good hiding place. Why did we... So, 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 so for Zora's recollection, that almost, almost translates to feed it to Demoratosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like... The Vesk equivalent isn't far off that, right? Feed the egg yeah. to the dead dimension? Yeah. It's not a million yeah. miles away from the devourer of all things, Demoratosh, etc. Okay. Okay. Uh, There's a lot of overlap religiously there in Vesk culture. I'm gonna go... Maybe make that the void one, that sounds like the scariest. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go wow. with the pair. Um... For boarding, I think I should wear something less conspicuous. I'll uh... see if you can find a hat. <laughs> Finn just look. Finn just hat. looks at you like, see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go a skull. I'll skull. <laughs> I can find a hat. Uh. I think CC uh, points yeah. at you and just points at his head. You're not 
not a hat. <laughs> it kind of yeah. just he just looks down like thinking about that. <laughs> you gonna walk off to my quarters? And get I'm very you. upset, my child. <laughs> <laughs> He's in deep thought about am I a hat? <laughs> Given what he does with Zora, um, so yeah, I think we have that scene of like maybe the two ships docking side by side, um, as you maneuver, and maybe lots of Thanida posturing and scaring the shit out of Query, right? Because she's quite primal in her everything. And he is relatively meek in his everything. So, yeah, there's a lot of posturing. And uh, your ship's like dock. We have the, the airlock seal. And as the two kind of airlock kind of things connect, that's when it obviously nicely seen transitions back to Zig. So, Zig, ah. you're uh, walking down a corridor, coming back from your meditation lesson, which probably went as well as we all expect with Edzo yep. 14. And, uh, you head back to your room, and uh, you, you go into like your little dorm type thing, and the Radiant Supreme is sat there, staring at you. And so that didn't happen last time. Pats the bed, and says, "I think it's about time." And that's where we end the session. Oh no! <laughs> it's the Supreme. So. Bushbag. <laughs> you know what we should say? Uh, I think it's about time. Because there's a pun there, Ryan. Did you do that on purpose? Uh, would I do anything on purpose? So, it's Let about time? Well, we, we have... I, I, that's my vote. There we go. I mean, that, uh, Any other suggestions for what we're going to name this beast of the surgeon? Oh, I'm, uh, that, that's about time. That's a good one, I suppose. I can't think of much. I can't think of anything better. Yeah. Alexi? Uh, I'm trying to come up with something terrible, but... That's fine. Like, like, let us know during the course, but I think until then, yep. it's about time as the winner. I, that was, again, possibly one of the easier sessions to name, quite frankly. Uh, I mean, you're not a hat was also good option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See if we could like if titles could be gifts of the actual characters with the scenes I've described, like CC just looking, questioning himself. Am I? Huh? Like, yeah. That'd be glorious. But alas. Uh, right, okay, let's have a quick look then straight at goals. Establish oh, a self sustaining oh, revenue. Yeah. I would say no. Do you still no. wish to proceed? Uh, we'll proceed for now because there's nothing really else on the agenda. Everything else is already on the agenda. That is on the agenda. You've been German again. So, get weird and zig to the sun. We failed miserably. Yeah, that one's. Uh, That's not happening. Right. So, I would say we scrap that for now, right? Delete it for now, and I'll come back to you, right? To fill that golden. Uh, retrieve Ivan, the king of the old baby. Do you know what that's worth? Has not been completed yet, but. Upon the completion of the what happened to the Kivalari mission, technically that should be <laughs> more it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so Babak should be completing that one for you as a reward for helping him out. Uh, ah, the old double whammy. Yep. Uh, so you still want to continue with the retrieve Ivan? Okay, then we've got get the stewardship intel crew corpses. Yep. We're well on our way. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'd say almost that could be next session. <laughs> or the entire planning session will be next session. And then, <laughs> and then you know, Zig blows up the sun or something. I don't know. Um, no. Yep. Uh, and then find out why Drew grand parentals are a bad omen. Might swap that from a Radiant Supreme one. Okay, so... Possibly. Alright, delete that one then and we'll go back up to goal slot number two. What gang are we putting in there? Find query your role in the crew. I like it. Everybody else yep. on board with this or are we... Uh, yeah. Got any yeah. After I grill them. <laughs> 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 like, mm -hmm. literally? Yeah. yeah. Toasted Android. Oh dear. No, not literally. Okay. 
you know what's going to happen. You're going to ask him a whole bunch of questions, and he's going to give you answers that have no relevance in this universe. Yeah, yeah. but if I feel he's at least telling the truth. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, like if you want to just like sense more of him for a bit, that makes sense. Um, so, do you want to reword that goal as find query a role in the crew by passing the Lyco test? I think that's kind of implied in the uh, getting right. him in the crew. Each, yeah, each of us has our own challenge. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Herculean in nature, you could say. Yes, sure. Well, wait until he sees what mine is. Well, I mean, considering how many, like, what was it? Was it 12 Herculean challenges or 13? I forget. Uh, but 12, one of them was discounted, so he completed 13 in total. Right, cool. Because I feel like by the amount of NPCs we've got and you guys, there's probably going to be that many challenges, right? Um, CCs will probably be the one that's discounted. We know this. Because um, yeah. it'll just be. I mean, be... my one's going to be cracking into, into the dimensional shower. I mean, so. yeah. Like. I mean, I hate to bring this up, but if you're going to start getting a bit dimensionally, like, you do have, like, an extra dimensional pocket space toy, so, like, it's not the worst place to start or end, right? Um, but yeah, so then we've got find query role in the crew, that's fine. Uh, goal five, we've got confront the Radiant Supreme about time travel and how much he already knew, knows about oh six importance in picking up the solar egg. <laughs> The return of the rise of the phantom striking back. <laughs> because, Awakening. <laughs> but if, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. The radio wrong. wasn't there the first time right? In Maru. No. Yeah, that's fine. But this is the third time round. This is getting yeah. to be like Groundhog Day for him, I think. No, it's graduation day. <laughs> he knows what's happening. And he's like, oh, for fuck's sake, not again, please. Going to talk to you if it was like one of the other characters' time travel shenanigans making it happen. Well, like the yeah, guy trying to sell him insurance on the street in Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I love that movie. But anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, I think that's a good one to put in just now. Any other goal related questions? I was going to say queries at the moment, but that's a bad term. Ooh, ooh. So, uh, not for me. Just random owl noises there, Callum. Yeah. <laughs> the owls are not going to see me. I tried for owl and it came out monkey. Okay. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> the apes are not what they seem. Uh, well, that's goal stuff. That's good. And that's our goals for next time. Thank you for that. Uh, let us just start with. Let's start with uh, Zig, right? Normally we'd leave Zig to the end. So let's leave Zig to the end. For what? Wait, what? It made so much sense as the session, right? Uh, Nico, take it yeah, away. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nico, you're muted. Or you're just not here. Nico. Why does you'll he... come in and tell us two minutes. Why does he do, <laughs> why does he, why does he do this to us? Like... <laughs> you listen, Ryan, he was here until he wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was uh, ready until, uh, uh, you know, I wasn't ready. And when I wasn't ready, that's when you needed me to be ready. So, uh, I don't know why that's his accent. Um, yeah, but can you tell us what his favourite part of the session is in that voice? <laughs> can I tell you what, sorry? What his favourite part of the session was in that voice. Uh, well, most of it's already been said, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I really like uh, CC, you know. Like, what's what's he all about? <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, Nico. The speed philosophy. Of an philosophy. <laughs> Philosophies of an unknown. <laughs> uh, yeah, a quick uh, bio. Uh, <laughs> that happens to the best. It's right, we won't mocking you. Next time, Nico, maybe pop a BRB or something, just anywhere. Yes, would be great. Emotion. Verbally, like in in the mail. Like, not fast. Where it was meant to be quick. It was meant to be quick. It's never. Anyway. It's literally always perfectly when it's you I go to. I know, man. It really is. It really is. <laughs> uh, the lesson here is never piss. I know, man. Never. Uh, never, never. Um, well, I enjoyed that. I should. Uh, just yeah, unless you had any last final thoughts about the goals that you obviously oh, abandoned. No, I was. I was here for the okay. discussion. I was. Okay. So it was as soon as you said to Nico. Ah, then he left, right, okay. So yeah, I think he just waits for me to go to him to leave. Right, okay. <laughs> I understand. Uh, so... Alright, I'll come back to you. Uh, Colin? <laughs> 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 
What's this? Yep, we're just switching. We're gonna give Nico a bit of time to just piece his brain oh. back together. You dare invoke my name? <laughs> uh, so I was riled. I'm not gonna lie. I'm <laughs> if you want. No, no it's, it's right. I'll take. Oh, I'll be relatively quick. Um, yeah. So that was an interesting one in terms of. I had no idea where that was going to go. Mm. Uh, but it did make sense. He asked to return to his crew, and, and he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, I'm proud. Uh, when, when will we find out, or realise, I should say, not find out, realise we are we are missing a crew member, I wonder. Mm. Um, Indeed. So... Uh, is, he missing, or is he just stuck in an infinite mind link? Is, is that... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. the floor going... Uh, 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 They've just been politely walking over him. He's got ability away from you. Um, <laughs> He's just having a big moment. We'll just let him be for a bit. Can I just, like, so obviously, let's just jump into Colin's uh, time here and uh, say that when you said, um, here's a bad idea or a worse idea, and I obviously knew you were talking about Mind Link, because yeah. when is any of your plans not Mind Link? And um, the idea of Mind Linking with one third of a god being yeah. that is and isn't in time. I was like, I think Zig just dies. Like, I think he just dies. So, I feel like the Maybe god... Of, so. Yeah, right, but I'm like, so I'll just, I won't say that, I'll just reply with what I think Third would have said given the fact that they took Edzo's form for a reason. That reason being, of course, they know where Zig wants to be. Hence the form. Which was the jankiest GM save of a PC I've ever had to do. Ad-libbing conversation. So, just... I'm very impressed, actually. Just, I was like, he, you're, yeah. you're, you nearly died, buddy. So I'm glad you didn't. Because I wasn't just going to stop you doing Mind Link. Because if that was your desire, you've already told, you know, third, that's what happens, right? Man. Yeah, it was actually between that or just walking away and jumping into a big crack into the earth. I thought I was sort of going to do, like, a session ago. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, this is now Zig's time, so let's move back to Colin. That's <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, I, I'm very jealous that people got to meet gods before I did, because... I need to check, shoot a god off my list. Um, <laughs> I need to tell a god, so you're clear about that as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm very good at shooting now. I've taken a couple of feats at this point. I can just wander around and shoot people from 700 metres away without breaking a sweat. It's fine. Just just casually swagger around, firing off sniper rifle rounds. It's I mean, good. It's in character good. gen, right, Colin? In character gen, we had... Died but didn't stay dead, right? And then me and Alex had a chat about apotheosis and being a tempered pilgrim. Right. Yeah. Maybe not quite in character gen for temporal pilgrim, because I feel like that was maybe a, a secondary conversation. <laughs> but like in general like I feel like he got to meet a god first, right? That yeah, seems no, fair. That's fair. That's fair. Although, you know, I, I did make a point, as I said before, um, dying and in, in, in resurrecting three days later. That I did do that for <laughs> oh, yeah, specific yeah, reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Deeply amused me. Um, and you're Colin. And us. Yeah, because I am ultimately <laughs> myself and could not do that. Um, yeah, so no, that, was, that was good fun. That was good fun. I, I was honestly just sort of waiting for horrible things to happen, and they largely didn't, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'd say this was a win. In fact, yeah, this 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 was all just solid progress, really. And you we did get rid of the egg, going, and so did there. And we did, maybe. <laughs> Don't want to deal with it, guys. <laughs> well, fine, <laughs> it's, it's, in the it's good. Now, that I just had um, a dark corner of existence and lobbed it in there. Oh. So yeah, that was something. <laughs> My favorite thing was having to reply to a character and say there is no end to time, but I can keep moving it forward. Was a head fuck in a bit. I'm like. How wanky is this dialogue going to get? Very, in fact. Very. But I'll wait till we move to Alex for that. So please continue. Oh, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so there, there, there was some good back and forth stuff with, with, with the other crew. We got to have some fun with, with CC. 
<laughs> um, as ever being very direct. Mm. Um, <laughs> and not making things more complicated to me. I do apologise. I am as ever quite tired. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was a uh, sort of meat and potatoes stuff. We we got we got some fairly simple stuff done, but necessary. And I think I'm I'm intrigued. I think I might pull out the disguise next session. Mm -hmm. um, like a fairly limited one. I still don't fully understand how disguise works because it's like, oh yeah, the GM makes a role. I what personally role? prefer the idea that you just wear like Zora's clothes, but you put CC in the neck collar part of it. And you just act, you just Maybe are the body. A hat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh no! What I was gonna do is like literally take the ridiculous gothic cape off my thing and like <laughs> sling on like a flight jacket or something uh -huh. over the top of it, like Han Solo or yeah. shit. Um, that that was my plan. I'd also maybe like maybe like hide the the black veins a little with some <laughs> with some concealer. You know that 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 was his plan because like basically I don't take any. I'm disguising myself as a living human, I think I don't take any, or rather people don't get a bonus to detecting me, I think is how it works. I mean, we'll, we'll find out for next week, definitely. Um, certainly they don't get the different creature type, right, mm. so it doesn't count as me trying to disguise myself as an undead, trying to disguise myself as a living thing, yeah. because I'm close enough. I might take the I might take the, the species thing, but I don't, I don't know. Um, Either way, I've got a decent chance of being successful at it because it should be fairly minor alterations required, um, and obviously. And a lot of it um, does just depend on what your disguise's purpose is, right? Because if you're just if you're trying to look like another type of sentient creature, the person looking at you might not care what you are anyway. So if they saw through your disguise, the fact that you're disguised is weird, right? Yeah. As opposed to looking like a slightly different, like variation of a human. Um, so, so yeah, basically yeah. the idea is to look marginally less creepy. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Look less I like an agent of the Eoxians. Yeah. Yeah, I read over the rules again today. And I was like, what the fuck does it? It's it's um, it's a really dumb way to do it. But we'll give it a go. And if we don't like, yeah, it, we'll just basically do you're doing the rules mm -hmm. for my stealth. Which is, you know, I hate rolling. Okay, so oh yeah, <laughs> rolling in the deep, man. Anyway. Um, <laughs> We're, 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 we're sort of a session away from potentially having a nice little investigation of a mm -hmm. potentially damaged or maybe even empty ship or something. like. There's all sorts of interesting things that come up there. We could meet some nice friendly NPCs, we could be treated with hostility, we could, we could walk into the plot of Alien. Um, all sorts of things coming in the horizon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was, it was it was a pretty simple. We were on ships. We got the ships where we needed to go. We did it through <laughs> the course. They did it through cosmic bullshit. And going not where they needed to go, but where they actually did need to go in their hearts all along. So what you're saying is you did it the Lyco and Captain way. <laughs> we did it the Zig and Weird way. Some might say the correct way. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Others might. Anyway. You were we were cosmically adventurous. Uh, yes. Fucking but still, hell. you've 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 done some weird cosmic bullshit, which may or may not stop the early brain for the time being. That's good. I think the reply that first, second, and third would say would be the time being what. Uh, but not to get into that. Hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna like them if I ever do meet. <laughs> they probably wouldn't really get you either, right? Yeah, <laughs> that 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 feels true. I think most of the reply would just be a look at you and go, "No." Wow. And you'd be like, "No, yes, okay." <laughs> uh, you too, buddy. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, 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 not much. Not much. Um. Nothing's nothing's actually really coming to me at the moment. I think I think my brain's somewhat frazzled. It's okay if there is um, anything. We'll we'll cycle back. I yeah. Nico. Hopefully, you're slightly uh, more together. Yes, I'm alive now. Um, <laughs> uh quite enjoyed the the back and forth between uh, weird query. That was yeah. interesting. <laughs> uh, interesting. You what can put a squad on there. Who knows? You can kind of see a lot of why Query's universe is no longer, right? <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> Here, sorry, sorry to immediately interrupt after having said that, but like, um, so, you may or may not want to answer this, but was it a deliberate, I'm going to make him really 
un weird like or was it like I will, will will basically take away this attribute of him that might make him a little too useful or was it was there a specific decision you'd made there or was that just sort of like it so, felt right let me answer that with another question what usefulness did query ever have uh, vague in. pronouncements yeah I'm just falling weird slash next about his past this, this is his past of of so, so he never really, so he never really gave me any information yeah. other than don't do what he did yeah I mean that in and of itself is kind of useful but like yeah but I was never on his path anyway no yeah. that's fair <laughs> and like weird took steps to specifically diverge further right hence that that was actually said in this you session you see him as a catalyst certainly yeah but maybe that's what his purpose is in the grander scheme of things right to be the don't do what I did character, um, but yeah, no, there's a lot of that I won't answer for obvious reasons, Cole. Um, yeah, I thought that might be the case. I just it's a good observation though. I like it. Um, but yes, query and weird are different, and I think we all know this. We can see that. Even if second didn't see it initially. Um, sorry, Nico. Eh, uh, what was that? Oh yes, I enjoyed See, the exchanges. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is going on over there? I don't know. I'm just going to say that I'm happy that it was weird. It's like that I haven't taken on me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I would just play like, eh, uh, what? So, <laughs> the amount of strange things that have happened to Zora are minimum, actually, compared to everybody else in the crew. <laughs> You've had a fairly normal like, retirement? Well, like, basically the first system. The uh, first... Maybe I'm just a bunch of... Maybe I'm a bunch of Like, if you use it all crazy, eh? Like... <laughs> the only time I've ever seen something that's not been there, man, is when I was in the first uh, the station. Mm -hmm. The very first place. Yeah, with the trippy corridors. The Baskerville that. station. Baskerville, day. Yep. Eh... Uh, it was... Cool. Gone through the wee plan to get there to then just have the Azure flare just go poof, in front of his high. Mm. It's funny. <laughs> you just got other opportunities though. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not like the party still isn't split so it seems though. Which is a... Uh... Yes. <laughs> it's like gone once more. Mm. Where, where, where is... I miss what happened to Fenida and she's still there. I missed that. Uh, Tanida and uh, uh, what's her face? Uh, Isabel, yeah. Like, they're they're on the ship with uh, Query and uh, Weird. Like, cool, cool. I was just wondering if they were there so I, I thought. Well. They were like, who the fuck's this guy? And that's when Weird delivered his. That's the alternate universe, me from the dead universe of the failed people, blah 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 blah. Query. <laughs> <laughs> and for the most part, Tanida looked like she was going to eat him. Until he seems like he's adept in comparison, so so good. Well, he's not an engineer that makes the bombs to solve problems, so yeah. yeah. So he's already lost, right? He was obviously. I guess he's not defeated, but mm -hmm. I guess he is not defeated, but yeah, like on a fucking universal scale, right? Yeah. yeah, but I mean, he did what he could to try and like warn somebody else, even if it was himself. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question to be. It's your problem now. <laughs> Don't do what I did, with no right. information as to how to do that, or not. <laughs> but at least yeah. it's evidence of what can happen, right? Yeah, for sure. So for that sure. that's something. Um, yeah. The uh, frustration of I always well would be on respect before he actually. I actually, just on that note, I just really enjoyed Alice doing everything for Lyco and just sliding it over to his screen. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> that was good teamwork as well. I that. Yeah, like it's she, knowing she knows. your friends and colleagues' limitations sometimes is also a good thing. Yeah, she needs someone sniped from like seven hundred meters away. Like, you know, she's not going to do it. She's going to bazooka them, right? But like, you can snipe them <laughs> four meters away. <laughs> meters, and you say. Um, Meters. Uh, meters. 
Anyway, uh, sorry, Nico, anything else you'd like to add? Well, that could be back. Good, good. Be back. good. It was good to be back. Yeah, so we are we jiggy week off, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let's let's go to Zig now. Calm. Hiya. Hi. Um, firstly, <laughs> uh, I love CC. Thank you. CC's wonderful. Um, uh, I really loved all of um, Weird and Query and uh, First. Mm-hmm. Um, it, was just, it was just so much stuff. Um, although a lot of it was convoluted and like, hmm, there was, there was just a lot of stuff there that was really good. Um, and to find a temporary solution or a permanent solution. <laughs> a for temporal a, for solution. A, problem, <laughs> a temporal solution for the egg problem, which is great. Mm. Um, Temperamental solution. It's, it's a solution. <laughs> uh, I really loved query. Like, is this a good idea? <laughs> is this a good plan? It's a, good, it's a plan, uh, <laughs> which uh, I really, really enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the, the episode of Red Dwarf when you get like the the cowardly version, right? Almost, and it's like the should yeah. we be doing this? Maybe we should should we question this more? <laughs> yeah. No, you're the king. You got this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, Are we just I playing Red Dwarf? I think I've realised we're playing Red Dwarf. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> okay, which one I used as rumour? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the assumptions loaded. I mean, I feel like the person who would say that is the person who. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Oh, anyway, well, I come cap. Uh, but I understand <laughs> that without him, life would be much dimmer. So. Oh dear. Anyway, <laughs> Arnold. Have, Arnold. Arnold. Yeah, Arnold. Yeah, we'll <laughs> uh, I have enjoyed playing Zinc. Okay. You say that and like it's so uh, final. It's uh, yep, that's now. it. And. Uh, <laughs> She's out. This is where I retire. <laughs> um, In the past. I wasn't expecting that to actually happen. Um, what, going what back I, to what, graduation? Yeah, back to graduation day. So, like, see when you say to that, like, you know, our god entity, where do you want to go and when do you want to go, and you go, okay, graduation, and you then you don't think that's going to happen. Where, yeah, like, I think it's it's one of those things where it's like you think about something that you're like, ah, oh, the Stay Puft you know, Marshmallow Man, <laughs> gonna happen. like winning the lottery, right? Right. Except winning the lottery would be a good thing. <laughs> well, studies say things, but carry on. <laughs> Stuff and things. Mm. Um, but like I, I think that it was like the the fact that um. It was showing the image of Edzo. I hmm. really kind of wanted to go into that. That was really getting into his head. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean, of course, that's where his brain would go. Um, and having you know, spent ages talking to to them about you know, what right and wrong and changing the the past and the. To affect the future and stuff. And yeah, really, Zig just had a pep talk with himself. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what happened. Um, and essentially has now discredited all um, <laughs> all his uh, like issues with affecting the past. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I think maybe maybe it's a a sort of um, maybe he's kind of drunk at the helm. Mm. Um, and losing the plot, <laughs> um, but me as Callum, I'm like, oh man, why, why, why am I zig? This is the clear cut case of what characters would do, and uh, what players would prefer their characters yeah. would do. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't regret it, but at the same oh, time, yeah. Callum quite regret. It. Um, not yet. There's um, a lot of time so to catch up on. We'll see how it goes. If I get trapped. <laughs> no, it's just going to be old man Zig that's going to have to be uh, at the end with every day, right? It's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm. Might be a better person for it. Mm. Um, we'll see. <laughs> um, 
it was really fun. It was it was it was really fun, um, and it's it's nice to have uh, a bit of Edsel back in 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 our lives. Yeah, I enjoyed the transition there. I'm not gonna lie, I liked the idea of like, pretty, like second uh, being, oh sorry, sorry, third being sat there, um, and then just the idea of you turning around to like be like, wait a minute, what? This is the meditation room. Wait, what? And it just being Edsel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also um I'm really interested to see what the Radiant Supreme's going to tell mm. me off for. Uh, it's just gonna teach you how how to work out time with a stick in the ground. One day this will be super yeah. important. It'll impress a queen. <laughs> no, I've already done that. <laughs> Wait, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let me tell you when I'm up to. <laughs> Compare your diaries. Your yep. diary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nightmare. Oh. Um, but no, it's really good. I, I'm surprised your brain hasn't exploded with the, <laughs> the switch over between um, weird and first and zig and third. <laughs> uh, that was. Um, and then the weird query in second. Yep. It's Christ Shin! Christ Shin! Put it this way I put a lot of uh, my mental stability in the Zora camp, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, we'll, we'll ask CC. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Zora is my rock in this game currently. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I think all I've really left to say is. Um, Maybe in that, I don't have that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Calm yourself, Nico. Don't, like, literally, as soon as there's all that's left to say is, and then Nico talks over you. <laughs> it's I'm perfect. sorry. That was, that was, <laughs> it was, that's what the real reason Zig does these things. So, so, the captain just kept talking over. So try that again, Callum. All that's left to say. Uh, I hope you in, have a really nice, relaxing week. Um, because next week's going to be a clusterfuck. Yeah. I really am kind of I'm excited really to see what Zig does with a second or third run or fourth run at this. <laughs> um, I think it is going to take, like, Callum, me, a, a week of plans. Yeah, and I think um, we can chat about stuff during the week as well to try and sort out anything we, we need to, so. Um, but yeah, no, we'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed that. It was wonderful. Like, every like every character just had, like, just the nice bits that I just really enjoyed. The nice bits. <laughs> the nice bits. <laughs> they're, really that I really enjoyed. they're the best bits. The enjoyable nice bits. I mean, there was some good stuff and some good things. Lots of stuff and things that I enjoyed. Good. I like the nice bits. I'm very glad that you're enjoying the game that you don't ever seem to want to be in the present timeline for. He, um, he has me the right hand with this. Mm. Um. Uh, <laughs> anything else you'd like to add, Cal? Uh, no, just thank you. You're for, welcome. Um, thank you for including me. And uh, you're more than welcome. Hi. Uh, not yet, Alex. Oh, oh no, yeah. Hi, Ryan. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What was that all about then? I don't know. Like, you ever just start talking and just see where it goes? Because I call that that's session entire, one. <laughs> that's that my entire approach to GMing. <laughs> right. Um, um, I don't know. I, I, ho I hope you enjoyed that. That was. Um, oh yeah. It's always fun to talk a as gods with wannabe gods about the most existential bullshit. Yeah, and there was a there was a weird vibe going on in that session where, as it became more and more clear how incompetent Query was, <laughs> obviously, weird respect for him mm. from the sage master to. The uh, incompetent buffoon. Mm. It was you could kind of measure it. Yeah, it's, I think it's a slope, right? If yeah. it starts at a level and slides. Up. So, for me, right, if I was looking at this as a player, I would look at that as in the not global, but like in the the overall author view of everything. It's almost like Query has served his purpose to make weird what he is. And now we can kill him. <laughs> or, like, just let CC use his part. No, that's horrible. Oh, anyway. no, that's worse. Yeah. Um, 
just no, let, just let Zeg mind link with him and see what he turns into. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh god. Uh, what I really enjoyed though is the uh, there was a moment I think after last session when Weird was getting frustrated with Second, mm. and then he kind of figured out a little bit how to talk to them. This right. Session. Mm -hmm. um, it felt like there was him and First were at least be able to communicate somewhat, and then they were almost they were actually productive with Second. Yeah. Um, so there's kind of this sliding down of respect with Query. Uh, as there's this upward <laughs> not thing of uh, going from oh no the gods aren't what I expected them to be to hey I, they mm -hmm. make sense I can I can handle it so it's I don't know what that's going to do for his like ego and his <laughs> sense of place in the world I mean I, it should do exactly what we probably want and don't want right at the same time is <laughs> e elevate it through apotheosis wait what <laughs> Yeah, yep, as he's going. So the mortal version of me here is useless, but I'm here doing cool stuff with the god mm -hmm. and improving upon their plans as he sees it. Yeah. Um, even though at the end of the day, it, his plan for the egg was just the cosmic equivalent of sweeping it under the rug. L yeah, like what, literally. Just can, can you hide this, but like away from when? <laughs> <laughs> Just shove it in the cupboard and close yeah. the door. Um, it's it's right. <laughs> dropping me. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, one that... of those things. Maybe if they can just keep pushing up slightly ahead of the Libra and yeah. never have to deal with. And that's um, kind. Campaign so It's kind of what Second agreed to, right? Yeah. Because he's like, "Oh, there isn't an end of time," and then just chuckles at the concept of that. Um, yeah. So just push it slightly faster than yeah. the present is moving. It's like, if I, I'll always just move it forward a bit. That's fine, right? That'll do. <laughs> it's a technicality. It's a fiend. So, uh, uh. <laughs> let's, okay, cool. let's not try to unpack anything, okay, about this game, ever. Because, yep. you know. But sorry, carry on, please. Uh. No, that was, um, <laughs> I enjoyed, obviously, Zig's nonsense continuing. Because mm. you can mind link your way out of any problem. <laughs> um, even if I convince him to mind link us into this problem. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the thing is, that, right? Like, see if you did the the Snyder cut of this game, where there's no mind linking. What would that even have happened? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Cut Zig out entirely. <laughs> <laughs> does the does Snyder Zig cut? We're about to like. Um. Uh, yeah. I think like the next few sessions is um. You all replaying the next like few years where Zig just doesn't exist, um, and then meeting Zig uh, at the end. Yeah, but the egg won't be there. That's so fine. It'll just be ahead. <laughs> Slightly ahead of the end. Now here's the question: Is What there... happens if the egg's still in the past and Zig manages to take the egg from the past, which has been sent to the future? You mean back to the present? If Triune is really good, what will happen is you'll turn up at graduation and they've just nudged it on from there. Mm. They've nudged every case example of the egg. What the if the egg. egg catches and it's a giant snake? Yes. And it eats Galarian. It eats the ward tree. Yep. It's just and... the because it's graduation day, fair. Yeah, yeah, true. For Buffy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yep. It, it was the mayor the whole time. What? what? Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens because yes, I think that that was something that came up in my own GMing brain during this session was the graduation day egg is now a hot topic because is that being nudged forward ever <laughs> so slightly or is it there to be taken, which means second can't take it from the present. Or is second banking on Zig taking it and nudging Zig and the egg forward? <laughs> So you're just never like you're just gonna play a different character. You're gonna play Query actually for a bit. Cause so how many <laughs> layers deep in bullshit is Zig at the moment? It how many end links in is this? <laughs> um, Can you mind link with <laughs> with the uh, Radiant Supreme next and see what happens? Well, that's where it all began, isn't it? Yes. Get an egg from so here, so and then the mind link with him and get an egg link from, from a deeper. After the Radiant Supreme died. Uh, in the timeline, 
right, in the timeline of the game, graduation day takes place as user en route to Baskerville, right? So user like several days in drift heading to Baskerville, Zig's at graduation, which is why he's not there. And Zig, as part of graduation, mind links with the Radiant Supreme. <laughs> and then the mind link is broken because he gets shot. Yeah. Yes. But so, what if he now, in his room, now that time has changed again, mind links with him again? So, what do we know about... his own memories of the present. We know the happened. Radiant Supreme is unstuck in time, based on all of the bullshit that has happened. Exactly. And then the mind link, initially, was interrupted by the blast. Exactly. So every time Zig is mind linked, what has happened? Turned him into the <laughs> newt. Either literally or metaphorically, they've been shot. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like, yeah, you could. I suppose it would make sense that something is fitzing out, like it's not working because of this, which is all the more reason to mind link them <laughs> and go a deeper level and have two simultaneous graduation days. Which I am glad, I'm glad I, have, I have Colin's support. <laughs> During things. this difficult time, it's it gonna be things. it's gonna be the, the what you call it the the screen in the matrix uh, where it's the it zooms out and it just shows you that the, the, it was a TV screen that's besides many TV screens and it's just all the graduation day monitors that I have loaded. So many examples <laughs> concordantly, but yes. Anyway, sorry, Alex. Anything else you'd like to add? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what. Um, Colin, did you remember what you wanted to add? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. No, I enjoy. Uh, I do enjoy Captain and Lyco's normie adventure in Normie Town. Wow. We are, <laughs> we are representing wow. normies all across the world. But it's just nice to see some people with some like actual competent planning and professionalism in the party. Um, yeah. Right. Like it's mostly can the small like hyper bear solve any of our information gathering problems and then we will go shoot things like it's yeah. good like, it's a lot more functional than I'm gonna phase through the ship until it sends us into an extra dimensional space hmm. and then lob the the, the toy into, into I the corner at no point did you mention to us I broke the ship by walking through it <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, that's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that does that tracks. Yeah, like for I think there was a rule, and it, it doesn't make sense that what he did would have caused that, according yeah. to weird. <laughs> yeah. Whether or not that was because of a poor rule is besides the question, uh, or besides the point. But it's okay, right? You've traded out Zig for Query. It's fine. Yeah. Play an upgrade. Yeah. Wow. Well. I mean, to be fair, Zig hasn't destroyed the universe yet. But his power levels are increasing exponentially. Oh, hmm. I would say actually that was one of my favourite bits in the chat of uh, when Query was feeling sorry for himself uh, and wanted to go to a spa. Or mm-hmm. like, well, you could come and help us. And he's like, but I've already destroyed it once, but that's why you're the perfect person to uh-huh. help us. Because yeah. you've learned from it. That, or you just ask him what he would do and just don't do it. Is he upset? No, like, there was a lot of stuff about Query's, like, guilt I enjoyed about this episode. Like, there was a lot of stuff that can come up just very subtly, where it wasn't just, oh my god, I feel so bad for ruining the universe. It was more just a case of, I'm not the guy you need kind of vibe he has. It's more like he has lost a lot of confidence by being in a real place again. Right? Because mm. he wasn't in a place he had like necessarily his own full consciousness, right? And his in between places, because when you were like, "Oh, where were you before?" and he's like, I, "I don't know." Like I was talking to you, and I was talking to you, and there was the small rat, and then I, there was the, my universe. So it does seem like he wasn't necessarily aware of everything in between. So yeah, it was good, good fun for me. I enjoyed that. I. Probably glad that never happened last week. Um, based on the dialogue alone, 
Um, that was, yeah, it's good fun to have a bit more time to like let it unspool in my brain mm-hmm. a bit. Um, but yes, thank you all for playing, as always. And uh, thank you for running. Uh, running. You're, you're you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> we're obviously on track for our finale in October, right? Obviously yeah, on track. <laughs> Depending whether you like it or not. Um, but yes, we will see what happens there and thence. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.